Hello and welcome to my mixture tutorial. Today I will show you the ingredients I use and how I mix them. And at the end I will show you my premium version and how I clean my tools. The main star ingredient is spackle or wall filler and you can also use joint compound. And don't skip this step. This is the reason why my mixes doesn't set while I'm working with it. Next up is plaster. I use molding plaster and you can also use plaster of Paris. The third is white glue. This helps with cracking since it slows down the drying process. Spackle, joint compound and plaster shrinks, shrinks <laughs> while drying which can cause cracks. And the last one is water. Water thins out the mixture and works as a solvent. And this is my tools and the mixing container. The first step is mixing water with plaster. Do this first so you can get rid of lumps. Today I will make a light to medium thick consistency because I need that for a project that I'm working with so I use quite much water. You can pour the plaster through a strainer as well and plaster helps to create a more creamy consistency and reinforcement. <laughs> And now I'm going to add the glue. Remember, this helps to avoid cracks and slows down the drying process. Another tip is to avoid heat while your art products are drying. So no hair dryers and no direct sunlight. And this next step is optional. I know many other artists who use just spackle or joint compound with paint, but I have had more success with this mixture. And I always paint my art pieces at the end, so. But sometimes it's very useful if you're planning not to paint it, and it also makes it more creamy. And now it's time for the main star ingredient. Oh my God. Here in Sweden, spackle is a very common thing and easy to find. I don't think I have seen joint compound here, so I have, I have never tried it, but I know these two are very similar, except that joint compound shrinks, shrinks more. I'm thinking about doing some research about it since my followers, especially on Instagram, is very international and post that this is a different this is a difference video since it seems to be easier for all of you to get your hands on a joint compound. So if you are a joint compound uh, expert, please hit me up in the comment section. And now we have mixed and blended all of our ingredients. So now you can customize your mixture by making it thicker or thinner, divide it into two or more parts, add sand if you want it to be more texturized. I store my mixture with an airtight lid in dark and cool places. And you can also add salt as a preservative. I use my mixer so often so they don't really get bad, but if you're not going to work with it like several times a week, maybe um, create a small amount from the beginning. And look at it, we are done. And in this next clip, I will show you my, we can call it premium edition. My previous recipe is a very budget friendly one and now I will add an art supply into it. Here I used a thick gesso. This will really bump up the creaminess. I wanted my previous mixture to be more like a medium thick consistency, but here I will demonstrate the magic with a thick gesso.
I will link all the ingredients or similar ingredients down below and also my storefront on Amazon where I have gathered everything I use. And now it's time for the boring but the necessary part to clean everything. So wipe off the side so it doesn't dry up and falls down into your mix. And now I will show a clip from my IG. It's my mixture with added paint into it. It's really great if you know from the beginning that you want to make, for example, a black 3D art piece or don't want to paint, uh, paint your art piece afterwards. And this is how I clean my tools. I wipe them off with paper or dry cleaning wipes and afterwards I toss it in the bin. Spackle, plaster and joint compound is not as harsh as cement but I don't recommend to flush big chunks of it into the drain. And this is the easiest way if you ask me to clean the containers. I let them air dry and then scrape it off and then tosses it. And here I already have one that has air dried. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed it and found it very helpful and useful. Please let me know and tag me if you try out this mixture. So thank you so much for watching, please like and subscribe and check out my other social media platforms. Thank you!